When you get your item, take it out of the box, open it up and remove the insides. As you can see here now, pull this out of the box and you've got your mug press in the wrapper. Once you've taken it out of the box, put it on the side, get the power lead, plug the power lead into the socket and then plug the power lead into the back of the mug press, then turn on by the side. Once it's turned on, press the OK button. This is the heat settings. We want it at 180. Press the OK button again. This is now the timer settings. We want it at 160 seconds. Now it's 160 seconds. Press the OK button. Turn it off and turn it back on. This has now saved your settings. As you can see now, the timer's going up because this is where it's got to get to 180 degrees to warm up for your mug. Also, you can also check how tight the grip is around the mug. Slide the mug in from the left, close the mug press, and then if you need to adjust um, tighten or untighten, you can do it with this screw here, as you can see, nice and tight. Once your press has warmed up to 180 degrees, an alarm will sound to tell you that it's ready. This is the image that I'm going to print on the mug, um, a design. As you can see here, it's now printed. Still a little bit wet where it's come out of the printer. I've cut round all the existing paper to stick now onto the mug with the heat tape. As you can see, the image is now stuck to the mug with the heat tape on both sides. Once the press warms up to 180 degrees and the alarm sounds, it is now ready for you to put your mug in. Open the mug press, slide the mug carefully in from the left, close the mug press around the mug and then press the OK button for the timer to start going down. As you can see, the, the time is nearly run out. When the timer gets to zero, the alarm will sound to tell you it's ready and we'll um, check out what it looks like. When the alarm goes off, turn the press off from the side, open the press, be careful now because the mug will be hot, take the mug out slowly and place on the side. Now get some kind of craft knife or something you can use to take the paper off. Hey voila, here's the finished mug that we've just pressed. As you can see, this is the image of the piece of paper, this is the image on the mug. As you can see from side to side, perfect image, good quality, nice and shiny. And here is the piece of paper we've just put it on.